Hey there. I wanted to make a, a quick tutorial for these little barrels that I made out of foam. I got tired of struggling with cardboard and making barrels, the fiddly mucking around trying to get the right shape. So I had to go with some insulation foam. These are strong little barrels. They're lightweight, really fast and easy to make and they look hyper realistic. I hope you enjoy the video. I'm using insulation foam to make these barrels. I just uh, cut a rectangular cube and then draw a circle on top and bottom and then a line around the center just to be a guide so I know where to cut. It doesn't have to be too exact but I, I want to get it as close as possible because I need a rounded shape and I need it to be even all the way around. Once I've cut away the bulk of it, I just start working on the smaller angles that were left behind and just keep cutting away like this at each corner just to keep an even, consistent shape. You can see it's already starting to get a rounded shape. Just keep taking those little pieces away more and more and more until it's quite even all the way around. It'll just take the hard work out of sanding it and trying to get it even later. You can see it's already taking shape very quickly. You can make a lot of these in a really short period of time. Once you're happy with the shape, you can just cut the top and the bottom off to make it as stout as you'd like it. It looks too short at the moment, but I have to make allowances for sanding. So once I start taking away and trying to make it more and more even as I sand, it's obviously going to get smaller and smaller and then come back into proportion. I found that doing sort of a, a drag and twist gentle motion gave me the most effective and even easiest outcome for the shape. And it comes out almost fluffy, which is brilliant for soaking up paint and also when you're drawing on it with a pencil, it'll help just give a nice even movement to your pencil so it won't veer off too much. I'm just going to start very, very lightly etching into it with a pencil. You'll find if you're heavy handed with it, the pencil will just veer off and you'll struggle to control it underneath the pressure on the foam. Once you've got the shape that you want and you're happy with it, you can start pressing a little harder and a little harder just so it uh, starts to really shape the foam and it sculpts it. The pencil becomes a really good sculpting tool. You can even sort of put an angle and, and yeah, just like a, a beveled edge almost. You can do almost anything with this foam. It's an amazing medium to work with. You can really see the barrel taking shape now. See how quick and easy these are to make. From a lump of foam to a, a realistic, nicely sculpted object in no time at all. Once I've scored all the lines, I just get a couple of toothpicks because I just want to really quickly and easily uh, just mark some, some grain into the wood. I do it very, very lightly at first because like with a pencil, it'll just sort of veer off and it won't go where I want it to. Once you get going on it, it's pretty good. This technique with the foam and using the toothpicks for the grain is just, it gives amazing realistic effect of wood. Nothing like you could get with cardboard. Brown ink to stain it, it'll soak right into the foam. 
it's perfect because it doesn't fill in any of the, the marks and indentations, the scoring, anything you've done on your phone. It comes out beautifully. I'm using yellow and brown and blue to make my grey for the aged barrel. Don't ever use just black and white because it doesn't work, it's just unnatural and wrong. And this foam will really soak up this colour. By the time I get around the other side it, it's almost not visible because it soaks it up so much and it'll take the colour with it. So you'll need at least two light coats of this. You really want an uneven coat. Uneven coats completely because it makes a natural effect. If you want everything even looking, it won't look natural anymore. So don't worry about being rough with it. It really helps the outcome, especially if you're doing something that's aged. Now just make some little bands to go around and, and that's it. I just cut them out of some good paper so it's not too flimsy and won't break when I soak it with ink. Cut about uh, three strips for each barrel and then uh, give it a, a stain. I did some with silver because I wanted it to, to be a newer barrel so I, I gave it some steel clean bands. And the other I did some, uh, some rusty bands for the, the aged barrel. And you just glue them on and that's your barrel's done. Super easy, super fast and super realistic too. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I'll see you next time.